Okay, so I'm in Sydney. Um, this is very exciting. I'm actually here for work to do a travel story about, I don't know, spending three days in Sydney for the magazine. And I'm going to see the beautiful Carol King musical tonight, which is kind of like the main reason that I am here. And I'd also like to point out that I totally staged that intro that you just saw me walking um, through the door with my suitcase because this is one of those fancy hotels where they bring the suitcase to your room for you. So I feel like I should kick things off with a hotel room tour because this place is really cool. <laughs> So this is the entrance here. Got a fancy little table and a mirror. Oh hi, it's me. And then over the side is the bathroom and some decor things. But the bathroom is so beautiful. Look at that bathtub. And there's some fancy marble and a giant mirror with my face. And look, there's little like bath towels and a high hair dryer. And a really exciting rainfall shower thing. Coming out of the bedroom, we have a chair, we have a TV, and we have the bed, which looks glorious. I kind of want to take a nap by, right now, but I kind of have to leave. Um, there's also a little desk here, and a mini bar, and then there's these giant mirrors with a door handle, and I walked in and I was like, what is this? Is this another closet? But no, it opens up into the bathroom. So fancy. I don't quite understand the purpose of that, but there you go. So I've just quickly put on the tiniest bit of makeup because I don't have much time, but basically I'm going to meet the publicist who's helped organize this trip and we're going to have lunch together at the art gallery and then I'm going to have a little wander around there. So it should be very nice, but I'm stressing because I have to get there, so I should go. <laughs> I'm back in the hotel I just got dressed and ready for the musical tonight I basically spent my afternoon at the art gallery after I had had my meeting slash lunch and then I sort of wandered back and walked to the hotel and looked in a few stores and then basically crashed on my bed and made the mistake of eating from the mini bar so that's gonna cost me but I was really hungry and it was just there and it was just it's just teasing me. So I'm about to catch a taxi and head to the Sydney Star or the Star Sydney, which is where the musical is and it's also where I'm gonna have dinner. So today I actually have a little bit of work on the agenda. I'm going to the musical media call. So there's going to be some interviews with some of the cast members and there is a Kiwi girl who I'm going to be interviewing. So I'm probably not going to vlog that, but beforehand I am going to the grounds of Alexandria to meet up with another publicist for another meeting. So I'll try film my food. I just looked up the place online. It looks really pretty. So we'll see what footage we get. So I'm back in the hotel now and I just filmed an entire clip of me talking and I didn't have the microphone on. So good work, Alan. But I'm just getting ready to go to my bridge climb, which I'm very excited about. I just looked it up and apparently it takes like an hour and a half, two hours. And I'm hoping I can like buy a photo of myself or a video because I'm not allowed to bring my own camera, which is disappointing. But I'm very excited about this. This should be a real highlight. Anyway, my arms are getting really sore and I've got to get to this bar to have lunch and then do my bridge climb. So I did my bridge climb and 
It was amazing. The views were incredible from up there. I would definitely recommend it if you are in Sydney and looking for something fun and adventurous to do. After that I made my way back into the city and I went to Sephora and bought something very exciting and I also bought a Lush bath bomb because I'm looking at that bath right now and I just cannot resist. I needed a bath bomb. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit and then I'm having dinner in the restaurant of the hotel a little bit later and yeah. So it is now Friday morning and to be honest I've had a pretty terrible past 15 hours or so. Basically can't find my laptop anywhere. I'm convinced someone has stolen it from my room but I cannot prove that and the hotel has interviewed stuff and no one has it no one has seen it the cleaner did not see it when she cleaned my room i've basically done everything i can i can't do the find my mac thing because it's not activated <laughs> and what else i rang the car service that brought me from the airport they don't have it the airport doesn't have it even though i'm certain i put it in my bag when i got off the plane and did not take it out of my bag until i got to the hotel room so basically i was meant to go to bondi beach this morning and i haven't and i'm in a pretty terrible mood but I'm gonna go now because I have a lunch booking at the Icebergs, which I don't want to miss, but yeah, not feeling great. <laughs> So I'm back in my hotel room and sorry if the audio has been awful in the clips today it's because I've locked my microphone in my suitcase and I can't be bothered getting it out so we just have average audio. No further updates on my laptop and I'm trying really hard for it not to like ruin the rest of my trip but like I was meant to send the morning in Bondi Beach and I spent the morning at the police station instead and then I went to lunch which you just saw at the icebergs which was really lovely and then I was like oh I should go get ice cream and then I was like wait if I have to buy a new laptop like if my insurance doesn't cover my laptop that's two thousand dollars I can't afford an ice cream so then I went home and that was kind of sad <laughs> but I am moving on and I'm getting ready for dinner and going out to the Sydney Opera House where I'm seeing a performance there. It's the singer Megan Washington. I hadn't heard of her, but should be cool to see something at the Opera House. So I'm going to have a bath. I pour myself a glass of wine. And I just figured out the true function of the sliding glass mirrors. It's so I can watch the TV while I'm in the bath. It's genius. Look at this. So there's the bath. And then through the gap... There's the TV, and I'm currently watching A Royal Night Out, and I'm quite enjoying it. back in the hotel room once again. That restaurant that I went to for dinner called Aria was my favorite place of this whole trip and I feel like I've dined at some fancy smancy places this week and that was by far the best. It was like amazing looking out over the opera house and the Harbour bridge even though I did kind of have a giant pole blocking my view but I'll forgive them for that. <laughs> And it was also a really cool experience seeing a show at the Sydney Opera House. That kind of blew my mind a little bit, like I was sitting in the Opera House. Right now though, I am very tired, so I am going to quickly pack my things and head to bed. My flight is at 10.30 tomorrow, but I have a car coming to pick me up at 6.30, so yeah. I'm kind of a little bit gutted to be honest because I wanted to turn this into like a really epic fun cool Sydney vlog. I feel like with this whole laptop situation it's kind of ruined this whole day and I just have not been in the mood to vlog anything. Obviously I didn't vlog going to the police station. Yep. We'll see if I vlog anything tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>